All right, guys, we are at Menards right now, and we are going to go down and see what kind of awesome Christmas inflatables they have. I see a few right now, right up here ahead of us. Now, as usual, yes, look at this. They have a whole bunch up here on top of the, uh, I don't know, on top of the restrooms and stuff like that by the doors, and they are pretty dang awesome. So we're going to look around and see if we can find them in boxes. What the heck, an ugly sweater bottle cover you put that on your bottle of pop when you're drinking it okay so we do have a couple up here we have those up there but i'm seeing some down here including a ginormous santa so let's go start down here yikers let's go ahead and start with the ginormous santa here he has a sign that says good tidings of comfort and joy how tall is he? He's got to be about 12 feet tall at least. I don't even see him down here in a box anywhere, but maybe we'll find him in a minute because look at this one. Eight foot snowman inflatable in a truck. Wait a minute. It's not just a regular truck. It's a snow plow and it says let it snow on the front of the plow. It has a snowman and a Christmas tree. All right, let's make our way around this way to the best one ever. The Buddy the Elf Inflatable. Now this guy is six feet tall, $49.99. That's actually not a bad price for him because that is so cool. He's like leaning on the truck behind him. I wish he was standing straight up, but he is still cool. And look at this one over here, Santa Reindeer Sled Inflatable. Now this is awesome. Look at how Santa is laying on the sled, zooming down the hill and the reindeer is riding Santa. <laughs> what the heck, oh my gosh, they're so sold out of a lot of these, but they have a whole bunch of awesome ones here. Like, look at this one, seven foot LED Santa in a vintage van. Look how cool that thing is. Okay, I had to take a closer look at this because I was like, what's wrong with that reindeer's face? But it turns out it's just Santa's hand in front of his face. And that one is $99. That is really cool. Now here's the elf one we were just talking about. He's six feet tall. Um, oh, yeah, we already saw he's $49.99. Look at this, down here we have a seven foot six inch Santa jet pilot scene. It's Santa in a jet plane with a little elf who appears to be scared. We have a six foot caribou in snowman. Look at that, this is hilarious. So we got a snowman that looks like he's kind of perturbed because he's not sure what to think about the ginormous caribou there. The, ca the look on the caribou's face is kind of scared. And then you got this little guy, which I'm not even sure what he is, eating a carrot. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Would that be the caribou? The thing that's eating the carrot? The carrot is actually Frosty's nose, which explains the look on his face, and I guess that would be a reindeer. So the caribou is actually that small thing on top the snowman. You know, I gotta say, I'm very tempted to buy this inflatable elf right here. That would be so awesome to blow up downstairs in the, in the movie room to have up for a movie night. All right, we got a four foot Olaf here from Frozen. Of course, we have a three and a half foot Grogu from The Mandalorian. And look at this one, it's a five foot Santa hat Stegosaurus. It's a dinosaur that has Santa hats all along his spine. 10 foot Christmas stack inflatable. Look at this one, it's Santa on the bottom and it's like a totem pole. He has a snowman on his shoulders and then a penguin on his shoulders and a penguin is even holding a star. Man, they got a bunch of awesome ones here. I'm so glad I came in here. Look at this one, it's a six foot tall elf from the office. It's Dwight as an elf. We have a three and a half foot koala, three and a half foot mini here, and then of course we have a Mickey to go right along with her. Here's some really small ones on the top here, a 24 inch Mandalorian. We have just a snowman and then we have a Santa. This one's four feet tall. He's called Joyful Reindeer. That's hilarious. We got a Santa barbecue. Oh, yum, man. I could go for some good burgers right about now. 
five foot two inch fishing Santa. He's in a boat and he has a fishing pole and the pole even has a fish on it. And then we have the ugly sweater sloth. How funny is that thing? Four feet tall. Oh, here's the four foot Santa and reindeer where he's sledding down the hill. Six foot Santa dinosaur. Look at it. He's got a sucker. <laughs> Six foot animated hanging Santa, is that? Yeah, that is an inflatable. So you actually hang that on the front of your house, like on the gutter, and then his legs, as you can see here, they kick back and forth as if he's falling off the roof and holding on for dear life. And then we have a six foot inflatable sloth in pajamas with a mug of hot cocoa. Look, his shirt says, I'm only a morning person on Christmas. And then back over here to this side with the giant Santa up here we have some more we haven't seen yet seven foot polar bear look at this he has a couple of penguins on him was it that penguin is fishing and he has a fish on the end of his hook here's the 10 foot led christmas character stack that we were looking at on the other side santa on the bottom snowman penguin and then a star nine foot countdown clock it's a it counts down the days to christmas wait, wait a minute how does that work? I wonder if it actually... I don't think it actually counts down because all that would have to be animated there. Like those numbers would have to change. The hands would have to move. And it does not say on the box that it's animated. It just says that it's an inflatable. It's pretty cool anyway. But it's kind of weird once you get down under 18 days to Christmas. And then we have an 8 foot nutcracker archway. That's pretty cool. That appears to be all the inflatables that are in this area right here. Man, they got a ton of awesome Christmas stuff over here including the Christmas tree forest back here we got these up here so they've got to have some more inflatable somewhere unless they were all on that shelf back there and they're sold out oh my gosh look at this we were just talking about the countdown clock and it's actually up here and it is animated look at how the hands go around and around and it actually looks like the numbers might change on the bottom. If you look behind the sign that says $179.99, you can see how where the numbers are supposed to be, it's just green. So there must be some way that those numbers actually change as the countdown proceeds. I see we got the polar bear up there. There's a couple of little gnomes that I did not see over there. There's the Happy Holidays Archway, um, Kiss the Cook Santa making me some burgers, and there's a Sasquatch inflatable right there, which looks absolutely hilarious. It looks like he's holding a Christmas tree over his shoulder. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, because it has like blinking lights on it. Oh yeah, if we come over here, we can see it better. It's definitely a tree. You can see it also has a blinking star on the top. How cool is that? There's the little dino with a lollipop beside him, and there's another dino dinosaur beside him that's animated and has a present in his mouth. How cool is that? Look at that. He, his head just moves back and forth. Here it comes again. <laughs> this is too funny. And then beside him is the nativity scene and the caribou. I'm pretty sure that little thing on top of the, the snowman's head is the caribou. That is so weird. And then there's the, uh, the sloth beside him. Okay, yeah, this one that we looked at when we first came in, this is the North Pole Express. It's a train, kind of like the Polar Express, and you can see it has Santa and two little elves on it, and Santa has a gift in his hand. And then as we come around the other side here again, of course, there's a little mini four-inch, I mean four-foot, yeah, four inches, four-foot grack, oh my gosh, I can't even say it. Four foot Grinch and Max Inflatable. And then we just have the little snowman over here. Yeah, pretty strange that they don't have them anywhere else except for back here on this first uh, display that we were looking at. But as you can see, there are a lot of empty spaces here, so people must just have completely been cleaning these things out. All right, well, I guess that's it for the inflatables at this particular Menards. They had some pretty dang cool ones here. If you liked them, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more coming.